What's going on guys, Sinclair Photos here and today is a very, very exciting video. I've been waiting to do this since I bought the car. As you can see back there, we have a box for the Supra. Yes sir, we are back with the Big Wang Gang. Box from Street Hunter USA. We got the Street Hunter wing for the Supra. Um, I guess let's unbox it. I got it painted freshly, so this is going to be the first time I've actually seen it in color. Oh yeah, baby. So we got the side pieces, the ends, and then the big boy. Good, good, good. Everything is there. Got the hardware. As the title and thumbnail of the video suggests, we are putting the Street Hunter wing on the Super today before I go to Dallas. Let's do it. On a positive note, spring is in the air, but on a negative note, I'm sure all of your cars look the same way as mine does. This thing is practically yellow with pollen, so we got to fix that. So we got our boys Jack's Wax hooking it up, helping us out. Getting the super right, baby. And I think I got a little something in my nose. Achoo! Dang, that thing looks sweet. I got it all cleaned up. The wheels were a pain in the butt as always. Really, after getting them ceramic coated, honestly, it's very minimal difference in the amount you have to clean the car. So, whatever, it's all good. Then if we walk around this way, You'll see that the Supra is very practical indeed. We got the whole Street Hunter wing in the back of the Supra. So uh, we got some orders to ship out, got a wing to install, and uh, we might get some food along the way. So let's get started. All right, we're letting Jordan drive just cause I'm too lazy. And uh, well, when you have the back full of stuff where it like pokes out that far, you gotta hold all the uh, backpacks and stuff we have to take home too, cause we just came home from school. So we're going home, we got a bunch of orders to ship out and I got a quiz to take. So we will see you when we're going to the store. All right guys, we're back. We got all the orders ready to ship out. Um, I guess it'll be a good time for a merch plug. So we're doing a 50% off all the shirts on the store sale. When you go add one to your cart, it's automatically going to give you that discount. They're going to be about $16 to $17. And we're throwing in a free lanyard with every order. So you guys, make sure to don't miss out. There's a couple sizes left. I think there might be like 10 shirts or so. We got some smalls, a couple mediums, and uh, I think a couple extra larges left. And that's it. So if you're one of those sizes, go ahead, hop in the store, check out if we have your size available. And we're gonna ship them out as soon as possible. So let's go get these guys shipped out and then it's wing time, baby. All right guys, so it's been a couple hours. We ran the errands, dropped off the packages and we just ate dinner. Now we're going to finally install the wing. It's still actually sitting right here. And uh, I just had a funny story about this wing. So a long time ago, I think it was like two weeks or so after I bought the car, I posted this picture and I'll put it up on the screen right now. And I was saying, TJ Hunt, how many likes for a Street Hunter kit? And the picture like blew up. Everyone was commenting him, adding him in the comments. And uh, what we got is attention, boys. He commented to DM him. So I got super duper excited, sent him a DM. And then he asked me, if I wanted the full kit or just the wing. And I was like, you know, anything is great, honestly, but I'd be happy with just the wing. And I got left on red. And then I tried again, and I got left on red again. So I teeter-tottered around in my mind about actually buying this wing because I thought he was gonna hook it up for a homie, but I guess not. I caved and I just went ahead and bought it. Now what I thought was really funny was I watched a video of his actually a couple of weeks ago as well. I think it was when he got the uh, FDRX7 hood, the Street Hunter one, like up on the website. I think he said something along the lines of like, 
they always had them in stock so you never had to wait. I'll try to find the clip and if I can, I'll put it on the screen. But in the future, as time goes on and we get caught up with all the orders, this will be in stock on the website so that if you do come to order in the future, there's never a wait time. You buy it and we immediately ship it to you. As with any other product on Street Hunter Design, we make everything in bulk so you never have to purchase something and wait six months to get it. But, so I ordered the wing and I didn't hear anything. I didn't get a confirmation email. I didn't get a ship in that thing. I didn't get anything. And so I was thinking that I was just gonna get it shipped out and I was gonna get it in a couple days. That was not the case whatsoever. I went, I'd like to say a little bit under a month, maybe, maybe a month without hearing a single thing. And that's why I posted it in the Texas 2K video I did a while ago. Should I just cancel the Street Hunter wing and get this one and it was like a little carbon lip and the day that video went live and everybody started saying to get the little carbon lip I got my tracking information for the street hunter wing so I was like I couldn't cancel it at that point so hopefully it looks good on the car uh, I've seen it on the wide body ones and it looks good I've seen it on a stock body one one time and it looks pretty good so we're gonna make uh, the best out of our situation install this wing when we get home and hopefully I don't mess up the car because all of you guys that said that I'm not a real car guy because I didn't install the air intake or we'll do in this one ourselves hopefully and if we uh, we mess up the car it'll be my fault let's do it all right guys we are about to get started so we got the main piece right here I just went with the black finish, not the carbon fiber, because the carbon fiber was like $400 or $600 more. So I was like, nah, I'll just put my logo on it like I did the other wing that I had on the FRS, if you guys remember that one. Then we got these little side plate things, and uh, they sit up on top of there. So I think this is gonna look really good once we get it all done. And from the videos that I've seen, it looks like a fairly painless process. So, all right, let's get cutting. All right, guys, we have unboxed everything. Well, those two things. And now it's time to start taping up where we're gonna drill. So I'm just gonna kind of tape the whole side on this side and this side, and uh, then I'll get to cutting. Okay, so after a bunch of attempts with different things, we finally got the, I guess, the drilling points for the wing. We went through a lot of steps and uh, the only one that seemed to work was balling up the tape like this, putting a little thing of paint on the top and then sticking it on. And as you see, we've measured a couple times to uh, get that perfect fitment because a lot of them are like almost there but this fitment we had was like the closest one, maybe like a millimeter, like right here in the middle. But uh, now uh, I guess the hard part's over. Now we gotta do the other side and then uh, it's time for the scary part. There you go. All right, I'd be lying if I said that this was not my first time I held the drill. So uh, let's do this thing. Okay. No going back. Uh, 
I did it! I did it! Oh. I now have a holy supra. Okay, I'm officially a man. I drilled into my own car, and now we're checking if they fit. If it's in that one. If it's in that one. And if it's in that one. So, I think we're okay. All right, we got the, the left side on. Looks pretty good. So now we're just gonna repeat the same thing with the right side. Here we go. Okie dokie guys, now we're on one of the final steps. We gotta drill out the middle of the end pieces here. So we're just taking the same small drill bit we started with. We're gonna make the first hole and then we'll come back with the big one again. Because I don't know where it's sitting right now, but it looks like it takes the same bolts. So here we go. Alright fellas, the last hole has been drilled. I think that looks pretty good. What about you guys? Whoa, that's crazy. We still gotta take the tape off and do it again. But uh, it looks pretty good. And we got all sorts of fingerprints on it, so we're gonna have to wash the car again. But that's okay, because this is like the one Huge cosmetic thing that I've been wanting for this car. Pretty doo-doo paint job, to be honest. The guy's charging me like 300 bucks, and there's like, I don't know if 300 bucks is a lot, but there's like clear coat bubbles here. And then this is like my least favorite thing. There's like all this stuff that isn't coming off. So, doo-doo paint job aside, I think, uh, I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. Looks like a little devil. Mr. Krabs. Okay, now we need to get the tape off. So uh, I'll spare you guys from watching me disassemble the whole thing. So, uh... All right, there we go. It is all done. Another thing we noticed is the silly painter forgot to paint that side. Oh, no, wait. They didn't forget to paint it. They painted the wrong side. Nice. I guess that's what you get for a $300 paint job. But... At the end of the day, it still looks pretty freaking good. We are finally members of the Big Wang Gang once again. Now, I really want to see what it looks like in the daytime because it looks pretty sweet at night. Oh yeah, we made a good choice. And my camera's about to die, so I guess take a good long look and uh, we'll see her in the morning. All right, boys, it is a new day. I just wanted to run you guys over what it looks like during the daytime and uh, point out a couple things we noticed with the wing. So, as you can see, the side things are not painted, but they do look more white during the day, which I guess kind of goes with the white wheels. 
might just end up getting those painted at a later date, but for now, that's what we're working with. One build quality thing we noticed with the wing is how this side, it's more rounded, and then this side, it just like cuts off and slopes down. I don't know if that's just because I got like a defective one or if they all look like that, but the next time I see a Street Hunter wing in person, I will definitely look so you can, it just slopes down real fast. And then this one is more of like a gradual just swoop out. See, that one looks a lot better than that one. Also, the paint actually looks a lot better during the day, which I'm guessing is whenever the people that painted it did it. <laughs> so as you can't see all like the pop and stuff that's on there, but who knows, if I get super OCD about it, I just might take it into my own hands and uh, get it painted at another spot in the future. But all in all, I mean, it's a pretty cool wing. Do I think it is a $1,200 wing? Absolutely not. The chassis mounted wing for the FRS I had was $1,300. And I think I got like a 72 inch this part. Um, and it was all metal. This isn't even the carbon fiber one and it's 1200 bucks. Uh, the carbon fiber one I believe is 1800 bucks for the exact same thing, but just this piece is carbon fiber. So I obviously didn't do that because I do not feel like this is worth it. Um, maybe if they came painted, if anyone at Street Hunter is watching, if you offered it in like the painted versions, like you can just pick what color you want, then maybe I could see $1,200 for this thing, but it's so small, like it does definitely not take $1,200 to like make this out of whatever fiberglass material they were using, but I mean, it's still a good looking wing. Would I recommend it for y'all Supras? I think so. I think that looks pretty good. And compared to the other ones, the Mark IV style wing and then the little duck bill thing that I was going to get, I think it looks pretty dang cool. And it makes the it stands out whenever you're actually looking at the car now instead of it just looking like a little jelly bean but also one thing i noticed was driving it last night this part like cuts off like right where other cars headlights would be so if you don't want to see their headlights at night this is a great thing to go with but if you do like seeing their headlights and like wanted to know if it's a cop behind you or not uh you ain't gonna get that <laughs> because that thing like blocks right where the, like, the rear view mirror is so you don't see anything but i mean you give and you take when you modify your car and that's just something that we got to give up for the looks so here's one last look of it during the day let me know what you guys think do you like the street hunter wing should i have sold it and uh, went with the little lip or uh, are you rocking with it so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Oh, and also, totally random note. Um, I posted on my story a couple days ago if I should get another FRS for the channel. I got offered one at a price that really I shouldn't refuse. It's been in a little bit of an accident, but nothing like detrimental to the mechanical being of the car. So uh, let me know in the comments of this video if you've made it this far. You obviously care somewhat. Should I get another FRS? Should I do like a build series on it, like a fixer upper, cause it's been in a wreck? Um, should I do a flip challenge where I get it and try to flip it for more? You guys let me know in the comments below or should we just reincarnate the blue bunny? So that's gonna be up to you guys. My Instagram majority poll said no, so we'll see what YouTube says. So with that being said, if you did like the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.